Right, are we recording? We are. All right, sweet. So this is day number 22, I believe. You know what? I'm starting to lose track of the days. I think I... Sorry. Basically. Ugh. Day number 22 of 30 tips for 11x your dating life in 2021. I'm Kieran. Today's tip is about the fact that you cannot be afraid to lead because fundamentally women want a man that will lead. That is the reason why when men and women get married, what happens? The man actually asks for the hand in marriage. When a man and a woman kiss for the first time, it's usually because the man has reached in and made that move. If a man and a woman go on a date, it's usually because the man himself has said, hey, will you have a date with me? What women want is a strong man who is prepared to lead. The vast majority of them, that's entirely what they want. And the thing is this, we as men, we often become scared to do these sorts of things because you get in your own head and you're nervous, you're shy, you're insecure and you don't want to do something that's wrong. So then you think, oh, so if I put my hand on her leg here or if I say that I like her there, she's going to think badly of me and she's going to think I'm a loser, she's going to think I'm a creep, she's going to think I'm a weirdo, etc. And then as a result of thinking these things, she's not going to be into me and she's just gonna fucking hate me. It's understandable why we have those sorts of fears, but the thing is that if you let those fears win, you will enter situations that I'm sure all of us have been in, where number one, you have no women in your life because they're all waiting for you to make the first move and you don't do it. Or number two, you have situations where like you're with girls and you can kind of tell that there's a mood and there's a vibe and you want to do something but you're so scared and then you actually don't do anything and then guess what after a while she loses interest in you doesn't she that's happened to me so many times like when i was younger i'd be terrified to do x y and z and then as a result being terrified to do x y and z the woman i was with lost all respect for me as a human being and then i was left wondering what the fuck had actually happened you need to lead now the thing is this Society places a lot of negative connotations on men leading because you have things like, I don't know, the Me Too movement and X, Y, and Z. And the kind of thing that people like to speak about in the media is the idea that if a man shows any kind of sexual interest, that is inherently a bad thing. But it actually isn't. And if you are with women and you don't show that interest, you're gonna fall flat on your face but then the question is all right so how do you actually show interest in a way that is kind of calibrated so the thing that you would do like let's say you're on a date and you want to eventually start to have sex with a woman it's not going to happen unless you leave things in that direction but how do you do it in a way that is respectful and doesn't actually get you in trouble well you watch for signs that's something that you need to do so for instance one thing to remember and something that a lot of guys forget is that Sex doesn't really start when you enter her vagina. It doesn't actually start then. Sex actually starts the first moment you guys start communicating. That's when it actually starts. It's in like body language and eye contact and vocal tonality and like the way you're looking at her, the way she's looking at you, things like this. A great way to start to lead things in that kind of direction is in your head to have like naughty little sexual thoughts about the things that you would like to do that you believe that she would absolutely love but to be confident about those things that you're thinking about and just like kind of picture her loving it. And you have a, it kind of gives you a little bit of a smirk and you go, oh, what's going on here? Like there's a bit of an energy in the air. Now you ain't done anything. There's just like a little bit of a look and eye contact. Is she comfortable? Is she smiling back, you know? Or you like lead things in a little direction. Like there's the kiss test, which I mentioned before, where you take her hand and you rest her hand on top of yours and you don't, put any effort to pin her hand to yours. And if she is comfortable leaving her hand there, that means she likes the physical contact. Like, huh, okay, things are heading in a certain direction. But then here's the thing, it's like called escalation, right? Where you start with things that are very, like socially acceptable. And then whether or not she is comfortable, well, if she's comfortable, then you gradually move up to things that are less acceptable. So for instance, you might have a hand on a knee. It's kind of socially acceptable, but it's a little bit suggestive. But she's very comfortable with your hand on the knee. So then eventually the hand moves along up the thigh. Maybe the hand goes up the back. Maybe the hand starts to touch breasts and stuff like that over the course of a period of time. But at all moments, it's like if she doesn't like what you are doing, then you back away and then you stop. 
But if she does like what you're doing, you keep going and you keep going. That is it. You need to basically be prepared to lead. You need to be prepared to be rejected and you need to realize that she wants you to do so anyway. For instance, right now, I am shooting this video and you're not, I could be completely lying when I say this, but I'm not. The woman who's filming this video is completely naked. Right here in my villa, she's wearing nothing but a pair of underwear. Here's the thing, this is a really powerful and successful woman. Has a very good job in a career, but there's a part of her that is really naughty, submissive and kinky, and she loves to express that part of herself. And let's just say in a yes or no type of context, if you were with a man who was too scared to lead and to push things in a sexual direction, would that be deeply unsatisfying for you? Yes. Would you hate it if you were in a situation where you needed to let a guy know that it was okay in order to touch you, to kiss you, to caress you, and that you needed to guide him along? Yes. There we go. There you go, from the horse's mouth. From the freaking horse's mouth. You absolutely 100% need to lead. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing as well, right? If you try something and the girl doesn't like it, like, as long as you back off in that moment, you're gonna be fine. Like, if you reach in for a kiss and she goes, oh, I don't want you to kiss me, you're like, oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're highly, it's unlikely that she's going to be mortally offended, would you say? Correct. Yeah, so there you go. The mortally offendedness comes from when you're not listening to the cues and the signals and she's like, no, 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 and you're still going forward and going forward. If you try something and then she stops you, boom, she stopped you, done but she will respect you for being a man and having the balls to actually go after what you want. And that is it for today's tip. So, um, as I always, no, 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 did you stop the recording? Okay, I thought, I thought my assistant for today stopped the recording, but she didn't. So as I always say, I am quitting in June to become, oh my God, a writer of children's books. <laughs> I've just said everything I've said and I'm gonna write children's books. Well, here we are. Nobody's any one thing. I'm quitting as a coach in June to become a writer of children's books that inspire the hearts and the minds of masses. What this means is that if you would like to be coached by me, you're running out of time in order to make that happen. There are details on screen. Please hit me up. We will have a call. We will establish a roadmap that you can follow in order to create the dating life of your dreams in 2021. Thank you for your time. Nakasi, au revoir, goodbye, sayonara and see you tomorrow.